Um, here's a question. This is a, a popular topic on the Stop and Chat show. I want. Let's talk about your board setup. Let's talk about Jamie Thomas's board <laughs> setup. What is your setup, and do you have any? quirks or madness do you need anything a certain way like let's break it down from you know what what size board do you ride um i ride an eight six an eight Damn. six okay yeah. and i have uh 151 thunders mm. and i ride 54 millimeter wheels just to make the board and the trucks not look huge okay <laughs> right um and then i ride swiss I ride seven eighths Allen bolts. Okay. I hate Phillips bolts. Hate them. No Phillips bolts. No Phillips and no inch bolts. I don't want to pick my board up at any time and feel my finger get feel a bolt <laughs> yeah. hanging uh, over. I don't yeah. need a, I don't need extra bolt hanging out. I have no idea why inch bolts became a thing. If you're not riding riser pads, inch bolts do not make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. I don't I, get so it. true. I agree. I, I One thousand. Yep. Yeah. You already know. When I went into a skate shop in the mid two thousands, and they're like. I'm like, hey, can I get some bolts? I'm like, yeah. And they're like, yeah, you want, they're like, they hand me bolts. I'm like, those are one inch Phillips bolts. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy's like, and the guy's like, yeah, that's what we sell. And I'm like, you don't have seven eighths Allens? He's like, no. What? He's like, first off, no one rides Allen bolts anymore. And I'm like, well, Whoa. F me. Wait a minute. How long ago was this? How long this ago? Is about, this is like 2010 or something. Okay. 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 Gotcha. And then, and then he says to me, and no one rides, no one rides seven eights and no one rides, no one rides Allen's. And I'm like, what? Why not? Where am I at? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, totally and he just tell, he tells me, he's like, I don't really know why not. I just know that if we get in seven eights bolts, we won't sell one pack. Wow. We get in selling seven eights Allen's, and I'm like, all right, you guys, I don't even know what happened here. <laughs> yeah, this is, you <laughs> well, stepped into another. All, they're all doing riser pads, but I doubt that. No, no, they, no, no people, where is this at? Where are we at? Where, I don't think. What skate shop is this? I know. Where were you? Hey, hey, so, so that's that's a good question. But then Zero sells se back in these days. Zero sold seven eights Allen's bolts, se seven eight Allen bolts. Yeah, and all the sales guys are like. You know, on the phone, like, hey, hey, we gotta make, we gotta make one inch Phillips bolts aren't cutting it anymore. And I'm like, all right, that's the second time I heard this. Who's making up this? <laughs> Who's? Who's making this up? And then I, and then I went, I called like three of my friends that run like really successful shops, whatever, Cowtown, whatever sure. plus. And I was like, hey, uh, what bolts sell? They're like only one inch Phillips. And I'm like, what wow. happened? I don't even remember. Like I, I've anyway, never been a one inch bolt guy. No. Yeah. Why do you yeah. need extra bolt above the nut? I do not get it. Like, do you want to spend extra time yeah, doing this? I don't want to spend any extra time doing this, and I don't want to get my knuckle cut. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that. And this, this is before the silver tool, right? Before the the <laughs> yeah, crank before tool. Before the silver. Yeah. Tool. <laughs> is this, yeah. silver tool. Like, is this a beginner skateboarder move? Like, are a lot of beginning beginner skateboarders coming in and being like, "Oh yeah, I just want Phillips because that's no, what but I they know. don't even know that though. I know, they're but, beginner. Well, but they usually they might think that Phillips is like the way to go because that's kind of they where don't, they don't the know world is. So Kelly, they don't know which way to go. I don't know. I hey man, I I don't think. That beginners are setting the trends. I don't nah, think you go off what they suggest. Change, change the trends. I don't know what happened. I'm just admitting to you my frustration with the <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, 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 okay, I agree yeah. with that frustration. And and back in the day when this started becoming a thing, I went to like Billy, it was our production manager at the time, and I was like, Billy, I need you to order me a thousand seven eighths bolts and nuts. Phillips. I, I, Alan. Okay. I need I need to order a thousand. And he's like a thousand. I'm like, yeah, I want them in the. I want to. I want to buy them. I'm gonna put them in the team room, and I want like a ten year supply okay. of seven eighths Allen bolts. <laughs> okay. And he's like, no problem, man. All right, boss. Like whatever, you know. Like, and I we just had we had the biggest <laughs> like, biggest drawer of Allen seven eighths Allen bolts, and I felt rich. I was like, never again. Yeah. <laughs> I go on tour. I go on tour. I just scoop my hand in there and like just put them in a Ziploc. I'm rich. I'm ready. <laughs> that is so funny. Anyway. I don't even. I've never even heard of something like that. What is it like, Donald Duck? Or who is it, Scrooge? When he jumps? Oh, you the jump in the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jumped in the old yeah. fucking seven eight bolts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I'm Scrooge too. Yeah, I'm Scrooge about the whole thing. I'm mad, man. I'm mad when they told me I can't get seven eight bolts. I'm mad. Got him. <laughs> so, so let me go through it. Eight eight six one fifty one yeah. thunders. Um, 54 millimeter wheels. I ride the Spitz Formula Fours, and then Zero. We're making wheels again, so I've been riding those sometimes, okay. testing out different different durometers and stuff. And then I ride Swiss bearings, mm -hmm. um, whatever grip. But I have to I have to decorate the grip. I can't run plain black grip anymore. What kind of decorations yeah. are we talking about? 
like painting on them or, or cutting the grip? Uh, all sorts, all sorts of stuff. I got to do something different. I got to put about a half an hour in, or I feel like I rob myself. Or I'm not <laughs> okay. dedicating. I'm not dedicating. I'm not. I'm not giving that skateboard the love that it deserves. But wait a minute, old Jamie. Is he cutting up his grip tape and doing no, stuff? No, he to- rode plain black grip. I was gonna, I was gonna say, <laughs> was I don't bo- remember. He was boring. He was bo- <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but so here, here's what it is. Here's God, what. It, here's what happened. When I was a kid, I did an elaborate grip job on every board, and that, and, and there was a time where I felt like I was falling out of love with skateboarding a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I was looking for something to stoke me out. And I was like asking myself, okay, what did I do when I was a kid that I'm not doing now? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I used to write on my shoes. I used to write on my grip. I used to put time into my grip. Each skateboard was special. And I was like, okay, I've lost that. I'm just like, skateboards are a commodity. I got plenty of them. I don't need it. It's no longer special. How do I make skateboarding and my skateboard itself special again? Right. And I started decorating the grip. And then I was like, I loved that grip job and I love that skateboard. And I, I kind of reconnected with that kid in me that had mm. the like new Nautis with the dope grip. And you were just like, I was like, man, this, it cannot get any better mm. than this. I got a red Nautis and this grip is sick. And it says like Doritos on it or something. <laughs> yeah, sure, I'm, all, sure. I'm all stoked on it. And I'm like, um, I'm, I, if I, I say Doritos, one of my friends wrote on his grip Doritos and he spelt it wrong and it said Dorse Toes. Dorse Toes. <laughs> <Dorse toes. laughs> That's the worst anyway. when you write something and it's uh, on your grip tape yeah. and you spell but it wrong. Anyway, I started, decorating my, I started decorating my grip tape, painting it, cutting lines, making mm. cool ideas. And, um, and I also, I realized that life had gotten so busy that I didn't really have time to be really creative where mm. I'm like going to slow down slow down and just decorate something. It's kind of like, you ever, you ever like, you know, when you go to a, I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but I have it all the time. If you go to like a, you know, a um, gingerbread house uh, party or something, or your, your, your wife does like, you know, um, or your, you know, your spouse does like a, uh, what's it called? Jack-o'-lantern carving, you know, and you get, you find yourself getting really into it. And you're like, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not nurturing this side of myself often enough. Oh, um, creative so, yeah like yeah like yeah. arts and, and crafts almost yeah arts and crafts yeah. and i feel like the feeling of arts and crafts connects you with a different side of yourself that with computers and instagram you're not really able to you're not able to feel and experience and uh, there's something cool about it and the same reason kids like it and the yeah. same reason it makes them feel like they made something and they created something and they have something to show for it put it up on the I fridge. Tried to, I started, yeah, I started getting yeah. in touch with that and I started having fun with it. And then, so every board, um, yeah, I put like at least 30 minutes into the grip. Okay. That's just so like creative juices are flowing. Now, awesome. when we're yeah. talking about creative, are, are you, you're cutting the grip? You're, are you putting any like stickers underneath it? Are we doing any weird designs or are we talking about all drawing, drawing all on it that. too? Really? Yeah. All of it. So yeah, sometimes Sometimes I'm talking mixed media where you're doing like, <laughs> okay. you're doing, you're cutting the grip, you're doing the stickers. I'm, do, I'm drawing on it as well. Sometimes yeah. it's just cuts. Okay. Sometimes I paint the board a crazy color underneath the cuts. So you have this like contrast coming through. Like if the top of the board is blue, I'll put fluorescent green like zigzags on it. And then you got blue and green coming through the cuts, mm-hmm. um, you know, and I, um, I hung around with Foss, you know, Foss, the dude who yeah. runs heroin. Uh-huh. Yeah. He has the coolest grip tape jobs. And, um, when I was doing my battle commander, I was hanging around him and I was like staying at his house a little bit when I was filming, staying up in LA. And I just got really into it a couple of nights. We just stayed up all night making grip or, you know, he was doing what he was doing and I was doing grip jobs. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I was so hyped on it, man. And I, I just was like, I got to do this more. And when I went, when I went back home after the barracks thing, I just started doing it and I've been doing it. What is that? Five years. I was going to say, yeah. Something Six like years. that. Huh? Seven, eight years. Eight, that was 2012. Eight years. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's funny how we kind of can <laughs> switch because like, listen, black grip tape. That's, I can't have anything on my grip tape, you know, back in that, <laughs> you know, like seriously. You would hate my setup. But that, <laughs> no, but now I feel like I probably could. Right. right? Not, not, not me skating, you know, doing, filming for hot chocolate tour and then trans yeah. world. You know what I mean? Like I could, there, there's no way <laughs> I yeah. could have anything on my grip tape. 
no way. And I, I take it sad. that you were kind of the same. Back yeah. then, you probably couldn't have anything. I, you needed just. I was, and and you know what? You know what? There's two things that happen. That barracks project that I did, um, the battle commander. I wrote all these different boards. Mm. I went from 147 trucks to 151s. Oh wow! Ooh. On all those different setups, I was riding like boards like this wide, yeah. and I was riding. I was riding a Hasoy 10 and a half inch board. Jeez. You know? And I um. I had so much fun messing with myself and having to get used to the board that I was like, this is way more fun than just writing the same exact thing for like 10 years. True. Yeah, true. And so the board that felt the most comfortable was a bigger board. And I realized that the 151s, the way they turned and the way they felt when I grinded rails and stuff mm -hmm. felt just so comfortable and solid that after the, like when I went into the battle commander, I think I was riding like eight or eight and a quarter. Okay. And then when I left, I was riding eight, five or bigger with big trucks. And that felt like normal. And then for the next few years, I went eight, four, eight, five, eight, six. And then I, for almost a year, I rode nine, five cruiser boards, yeah. which Ooh. is crazy. Big but bugs. the concave is really mellow and zero makes these boards, but the concave is really mellow. So it's really light on the tail and it doesn't feel heavy. Mm. And then it's really mellow in the rails. So you can flip, you can do all the regular flip tricks. It just like Nolly flips are hard because the nose was only about six inches or mm. five and a half. Hmm. And then crooked grinds on ledges felt weird because the nose is tapered and you don't have anything to push on and your foot kind of hits. Yeah. So like certain tricks sucked, but everything else was fine. And Dylan actually skated one. We did this Instagram edit for this like pink cruiser board about a year or two ago. And we mm. spoofed the, um, we spoofed the yeah, right board toss. Oh yeah. I remember, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we used the same song and everything. Mm -hmm. We just did like a little Instagram commercial for the board. But anyway, after the commercial, Dylan skates that board and he crushes the park. He did like all the tricks he did pretty much in his, in his contest line oh on that, God. on that 9.5. Anyway, my point is, is that I realized that having fun with shapes and sizes and mixing things up, mm -hmm keeps it interesting. And yeah. and for me, I'd been skating so long and yeah. I was kind of bored and I didn't really know what to do. And um, so mixing the board shapes up and mm. making crazy grip kind of made it a little more interesting for me. Fun. And, oh, yeah, totally. yeah, it made it fun. Made it fun. Yeah, I can so, see So anyway, that. that's that's a long, that's probably 45 minutes dedicated to my skateboard. No, I, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, dude. It's the passion right but, there, yeah, dude. Let me, uh, let me ask you this though, back, you know, Old Jamie, I, I keep, old Jamie, whatever, you know, dying to live <laughs> and all that. You know, I'm 45, it's all old Jamie now. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but back then, when you're filming for these videos and you're doing all these, you know, crazy rails and just, you know, you're destroying it, did you need to have your setup a certain way? Or were you just kind of freestyling it? Did you really need to have, were you meticulous in what you were writing? I don't think I was as meticulous as others. I mean, I know, you know, I was never good enough. And when I say that, I say that with, um, I'll explain, but I don't think I was ever so good that I could tell the minute differences between every little thing. Mm -hmm. You know that some people, they're so good, like Cole is one of them, yeah. Chris Weimer is one of them. They, they can break things down to knowing like that something is the tiniest bit off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I didn't have that level of board control in order to be able to send my brain messages that like this isn't working. Mm. Right? But I did that said, I do like a mellower concave. I never was a steep concave guy okay. because my kickflips rocketed on, on, on steep That's boards steep. and I never could get used to it and I couldn't make it happen. And I was like, I don't know how people ride steep boards and have a buttery kickflip. <laughs> yeah. So I, I just found whatever whatever concave and I, I i concave is probably the most important okay and i'd, I'd rather ride flatter than steeper oh gotcha and okay anyway I, I i wasn't that hung up on meticulous stuff but i did like what i liked and i had the luxury of owning a skateboard brand and for a while i owned a, a wood shop and i was able mm -hmm. to make whatever i wanted mm -hmm. so I say that I wasn't meticulous, but I had the resources to be meticulous. So I was because I had the resources. Right? <laughs> sure. If that makes sense. No, no, yeah, totally. Totally. It's interesting because I mean, it's, it's, it's such a broad spectrum of people on so many different levels who are meticulous and non-meticulous, you know, it, 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 it's, I think I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't think I'm middle. like, I'm not no brains, no headache. I can ride whatever you give me. Okay. But I'm also not like a savant 
where I can tell if something's an eighth of it and the tail's an eighth of an inch higher than sure. my last board. Right. You can tell by the way people skate that they're meticulous or not almost. Oh, yeah. I mean, you see Chris Weimer's kickflip and you're like, okay, he has to depend on that thing being right every time. Right. There's got to be a lot of things that add up to make that thing perfect. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Just the way he flicks into something, you're like, that. he just knows how that works every single yeah, time. That, yeah, that's a button. There's like a, yeah. there's a mechanical a thing that's happening yeah. that doesn't happen for me. Like every kickflip I do is different. Some are cool, some feel like crap, but <laughs> his are exactly the same. Everyone's identical. Yeah. It's well, kind of like a modern day Rodney Mullen, because that's how Rodney was. He's very meticulous on yeah. boards mm -hmm. and how his shit was set up. And yeah, yeah, that's the closest thing I remember seeing growing up in a sense of seeing someone really th care about how their board is feeling you know i mean don't get me wrong like i cared about how my board was feeling but like but back like back that. then you're not really oh, you're, no, you're no. grabbing a board you're setting yeah, it up and you're up, skating let's go yeah yeah right